Hello everybody, this is Raghavesh. Welcome to the video session. In this video session, I am going to discuss about data acquisition system. In our previous lab exercise, we have discussed about simple port operations such as push button interface and LED interface and also we have learned about the serial communication. In this lab session, we are going to focus on the ADC module or we can say ADC subsystem of MSP430 microcontroller. The ADC section is used to convert the analog values into digital. This is a you know, very basic operation of analog to digital converter. The specific objectives of this lab session is to familiarize with the ADC subsystem because it has lot of functionalities, it has lot of registers. We have to be familiarized with entire ADC subsystem and also to enable and use a specific channel and we are going to discuss how to configure the ADC system to read a specific channel value and we are going to program to transfer the ADC data to the serial port. That means we are going to use the lab exercise 5 as well in this session. This is a basic introduction and you can see here in real world most of the data like is characterized as a analog signals for example like pressure, temperature, whatever you uh, you know uh, sense and feel as a physical quantities these are all characterized as a analog signals. In case if you would like to deploy a microprocessor or a microcontroller we need to convert these analog values into digital. Then only the microprocessor or microcontroller can process or can make a decision based on the analog voltage. Hence, it is very important to have a ADC in our system. Since being an integral part of this uh, you know, ADC, most of the microcontroller they have a built-in analog to digital conversion. Just look at this example. Assume that we are going to have an analog voltage within the variation range from 0 to 5 volt. If you say I am going to convert into digital, let us say in 12 bit format, then your 0 volt in analog will represent let us say the decimal value of 0 and the maximum voltage 5 volt is going to represent the value of 4095. How can you visualize that? So let us have a demo on a Excel conversion here. This is also available in CCE Learn. You can see here the number of bit ADC we have configured as a 12 and the reference voltage which we may discuss it in detail during the theory session and assume that this is your analog voltage. So when you say start conversion the CPU is going to check or in other words the ADC is going to check the input voltage whether it is you know greater than this value. If input is greater than this value it remains as a 1 otherwise it will make it as a 0. It will go to the next step again it will check whether input voltage is greater than this value. If S means it will remains as a 1 otherwise it will make it as a 0 it will go to next step. Just focus on these bits carefully and also you can see the voltage based on the conversion the voltage will reflect here as well as the decimal and hexadecimal value also will reflect here. Just let me click on start conversion with the value let us say uh, let it be as a 0.02 I just say start conversion now there is no 1.25 there is no 0.65 it keep trying. Yes. So you can see here this remains as a 1 and it keep trying with other possible combinations. Yeah, finally this is the result as you can see the analog voltage which you feed to the ADC system is let us assume like 0 0.02 and the digital value in 12 bit format this is 12 bit format. So in a 12 bit 
the value is you know 0 to 0 in x so 4 0 2 and 0 this is how the ADC system works this kind of conversion is called as a successive approximation technique and of course inside our uh, ADC we use a register so we call this as a successive approximation a register we call it as a SAR now this system is available inside our MSP430 microcontroller and which is going to convert the analog value into a digital and it, it goes further to the CPU and so on uh, you may have a look at it with other example let us say now 2 volt let's say reset and I say now start conversion you can see in 2 volt we have 1.25 we have 0.625 it tries you know each and every digit like that up to the end of 12 bits Yeah, this is the value which you can see over here and input voltage analog voltage is 2 and let us say the digital value is CCC ok so you may practice with the different combinations and you may try to understand how this successive approximation technique is working well you need to answer these uh, questions as well before you proceed to next uh, session yeah this section is going to discuss about the MSP430 ADC the previous section what I discussed is about the overall ADC whereas when it comes to the MSP430 as you can see here we have a 12 bit ADC core and it is, there is possibility to have total 16 channels starting from channel number 0 and going up to 15 whereas these four channels are reserved for a you know internal purpose we are access to to have only the 12 channels the sensors are connected in these channels and it goes to the sample and hold circuit because the analog is continuous in nature which has to be sampled and then has to be converted so after sample it goes to the ADC core though it is 12 bit ADC core it can be reconfigured as a 8 bit or 10 bit or 12 bit this is also possible ok so this ADC conversion needs a reference voltage you might have observed here in excel sheet also we have a reference voltage the conversion is always with you know with, with, with respect to the reference voltage is nothing but if you add all these values is nothing but 2.5 your total voltage ok so if you feel let us say like 2.5 volt so you must able to get all of them as a 1 so this is like a reference voltage but you may need to read uh, more details about reference voltage during the theory session Okay, so this is the reference voltage which I explained you just now. Now, just I'm going to talk about the launchpad hardware resource. As you observe here, in the launchpad kit we had a limited resource which we used in our previous lab exercise like there is a push button and there is a two LEDs there are some you know headers are available here whereas as such there is no other hardware which is available which can be used with this launch pad hence in this lab session we are going to use a baseboard which is called as a groove baseboard and as you can see this is a baseboard okay and you can see there is a 
you know headers there are many headers over here and also there is three sections in this baseboard this baseboard is capable of connecting various sensors i'll just show those sensors also one by one and that can be plugged in this you know headers based on the nature of the sensor it has to be uh, plugged in uh, either in analog or a serial or a digital and these headers as you can see here these headers can go with the msp430 hardware okay i will also show this connection how it works out now once you plug in once you plug in we have a piece of cable and we have various hardware so this is one which i am showing is a variable resistor or potentiometer and we have a moisture sensor we have ultrasonic range finder there's a simple a relay and we have ldr and temperature and humidity sensor and we have a pir motion sensor there is a sound sensor or we can say as a mic um there is a buzzer and finally a seven segment display these are the various devices which can go ahead which can uh, you know get connected with this groove launch pad this is a baseboard we say it can be connected to the baseboard now just let me show how this can be connected so you can have this one upside down like this or the launch pad can be kept down and you can also connect the baseboard on top of this okay there is a little information about this launch pad and the groove starter kit and the various items which i have shown here in this lab session we are going to use the rotary angle sensor which is nothing but you know simple variable resistor as you can see here i connected the baseboard and the msp430 through the cable we connected a variable sensor so this is what we are going to use it in this lab session there is some useful documentation especially you need to focus on the adc document and also the starter kit manual the adc document has a you know a document id with this and it is about you know 40 to 50 page document i think again a groove starter kit these two documents you need to use it extensively in this session let us uh, explore more about the adc in our section 2 of the video